Hello, welcome to Steel and Wood Outdoors. So today we're gonna be uh, having a little campfire in the fire pit in the backyard. And uh, pretty nice weather today, about 80 degrees. And the sun is getting ready to lower down below the tree, the top of the trees here. So we should have some good shade. I um, won't have too much, uh, uh, you know, the sun blazing on us. That Georgia sun gets hot. Um, today uh, also we'll be making a, a steamed clam dish. So uh, and we'll be doing that in a Dutch oven. So um, last video I went through and you know made feather sticks and all that but today we're just gonna go cheat mode. This is a, a fire starter log by Duraflame. Uh, they say that uh, probably shouldn't really cook over this because uh, I believe it's a log soaked in creosote, which is pretty nasty stuff. But since we're doing a Dutch oven with the lid on and everything, uh, and we're gonna wait until it's burned down to coals and all, I don't think we're gonna, it's, it's fine at that point once all the chemicals burned off, at least <clears throat> to my knowledge. So let's get started. Okay, so what we've got here is the basically a, a lean-to method for um, the form of putting these logs up. And we've got our fire starter log as the support here. So we should be able to get these uh, this wood lit up pretty easily. Just light the actual bag that the fire starter log comes in couple different spots and it does everything else. While we're waiting for that fire to get going, um, I'll just show you what I'm going to be smoking today. This is my Gandalf pipe. It's a church warden style pipe. Uh, forget the company, but these are all handmade to order. You can actually get writing uh, engraved on the front and on the bowl and uh, all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll put a link if I can find the uh, makers again but it's a father daughter uh, woodworking team and uh, what I've got in here is the Seattle Pipe Club plum pudding uh, bourbon barrel aged which was uh, suggested to me by um, uh, mutton chop piper this will be my first time trying it so let's uh, <clears throat> let's try it out if you've got a pipe or a cigar, smoke it with me. let this uh, <clears throat> false light go out so we can get our ash pack on top.
pretty tasty. I like it. So what we plan on cooking tonight, as far as clams, they're called uh, cherry stone clams. They are from Virginia uh, somewhere, either in the Chesapeake Bay or around the eastern shore. Um, that's where I'm from originally, so it was kind of neat to find these at the farmer's market. Um, they're about, you know, the shell's about this big around, and uh, so we're, we're soaking them in uh, sea water or sea salt and uh, water right now to uh, encourage them to flush themselves out and uh, so any grit or uh, sea water anything like that hopefully they they flush out uh, it's kind of neat you can see their little valves working uh, where you, they're pulling water in and flushing through kind of thing um, so yeah, that'll be the clams, and then uh, I believe we're going to have some onions um, and peppers and maybe a couple other things to uh, put in the Dutch oven at first. Then we'll, uh, after they're cooked, we'll add um, uh, chicken broth to steam the clams in. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully this turns out great. Okay, so we've got our uh, large uh, cast iron Dutch oven sitting on the coals and uh, letting it heat up a bit before we throw in the onions, peppers, and chorizo. I forgot to mention there's chorizo in this recipe as well. Okay, so here are those cherry stone clams uh, from Virginia. They are um, medium slash large size clam uh, sometimes they're eaten raw but they're a steamer clam and basically first step we did was uh, filled up a bowl with cold water uh, sea salt and cornstarch to allow them to uh, uh, to get the uh, grit out of their shells and there was a bunch of mud and everything that came out once they started uh, pumping the water through their shell and we replaced the water three times so that now the water is clean and I've, I've poured a little bit off that's why they're kind of sticking up out of them but uh, um, you can see the water is clean now and we scrubbed the uh, shells to get any exterior mud and dirt off so that it doesn't end up in your dish. All right, so first thing we'll do is take the take a cup of onions. We're gonna put these into the Dutch oven. Until the until they become translucent. See, I've got these coals pushed over to try to regulate some of the heat 
but it's a hot pan. And there's also some oil in this as well. up here is we've got the chorizo and it's been taken out of the casing and some slap your mama seasoning has been added on to it yeah that's really what it's called <laughs> so we want to put this into the Dutch oven and we're basically gonna brown it have some of the fat render and uh, you'll start to see it kind of break up Alright, so our sausage here is kind of browned up. Let's release the uh, grease out of them. So now we're going to take this pan and remove it off of the fire, spread the coals out, and then we will add the one cup of white wine. We're going to let that boil off and then add half a cup to a cup of chicken broth uh, bring that to a boil and we'll we'll uh, add the clams in Yeah, so we're basically deglazing the pot here, many burn bits that are stuck to the bottom, and getting those back up into the sauce and the food. Now this is a one cup of chicken broth, and because of what we see with the fluid level here, we're just going to use the whole thing. Bring it up to the boil. You're watching too many Brits. Bring it up to a boil. <laughs> and once it's boiling, we'll uh, be able to steam these clams. I'm gonna put this top on here, that way the steam doesn't escape. And we keep our liquid content. We'll check and see if this is boiling soon. Oh yeah, we've got the boil going on now. So, today's on the edges. All right, so like I showed before, here's our clams, and we're gonna add them in now. Could have added a little more white wine or chicken broth, but I think this will be just fine. All right, and we're just going to cover those up and cook them until right after they open. Once they open, they're done. You don't want to keep cooking them any longer or they'll get tough and rubbery.
turn this pot so that we make sure we're getting even heat. Now before I throw this out, just wanted to show you what we're talking about. This is after three rounds of clean water for the clams to pump through their body. And you see all the silt still in the bottom. Uh, that's what you want to avoid getting into your sauce and in your dish. All right, we're gonna add some uh, garlic into our dish here. Wow, they look to be coming along well. We got one that's popped open already. So, we're just using the squeezy garlic, this kind here. Makes it a lot easier and tastes just as good as regular garlic. So we'll go four tablespoons. All right, and then we'll just kind of mix it up in there. Here's one of these already popped open. I'm gonna put some liquid on him. Make sure it doesn't dry out while the rest are cooking. And we'll give it another turn. Try to keep this heat even. Oh boy, getting close here. Actually, I think all but two have popped open. Actually, all but one. Rotate this again, we've got a hot spot here. You rotate your lid the other direction. Okay, so all of our clams have opened so we're gonna take this pot off of the heat let's take the top off oh that looks delicious okay so now we're gonna now that we've taken the, the pot off, we're going to stir in two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. We're just going to let that melt. And we're also going to add a third of a cup of parsley. Now that we've got the Dutch oven off of the coals, uh, we've put the lid back on to keep it warm and let that butter melt and those uh, flavors marry together. And while that's uh, over there uh, making friends with each other, the, we've put the grate 
the grill grate on top of the coals and we're going to get ready to grill some baguette slices. Here are baguette slices that have been uh, coated in olive oil. Newsflash, PSA, fire's hot. <laughs> Got a little toasty. These cook quick. You gotta watch them. These are ready. Some of them got a little, little warm, but that's all right. Here is the finished product. Mmm, yes, delicious clam steam. Now we're gonna plate it up, have an awesome dinner. And here's dinner. If you like my content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, put a comment below if you make this uh, how you liked it. Thank you and for watching my videos, and at this point, I'm signing off. Have a great day.